All right, guys, so you need to upload a font onto <clears throat> Vectornator Pro. All right, so I found on DeFont an appropriate font style, just recently updated yesterday, uh, coronaviral, how appropriate. Now, if you click on the actual word itself, it takes you to its view, so you can view all the things that the font offers because for this assignment, you know, you're going to have to have some things like capitals and lower cases, some numbers. The more symbols and things you have to illustrate and show what your font can do, the better you can utilize your space. So once you've decided on something, you want to hit the download button in the far right. Do you want to download coronavirus zip? It's a zip file. Yes. And you can see in the upper corner right there, there's a little down arrow that just kind of moved on me that showed me that it downloaded it. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to go and it puts it into your files. So there it is. If you can't find it, click on downloads over here under favorites. So I'm going to click on the zip drive and it's going to slowly open any of the files that are in there for me. Each time I tap it, it kind of opens up one. Okay. So it doesn't make any difference. It's an OTF file. Vectornator accepts .otf or .ttf files. Makes no difference. All right, so now that I see that it's in here in my download files, I'm gonna now go to Vectornator. <clears throat> so I open up Vectornator, and I've loaded this font once before, so it's gonna kind of show for us a little bit but I'll kind of redo it here just to show you how to do it. As soon as you open up into settings, uh, I'm gonna tap on settings up here, go to the font library, and you'll notice that there's a little cloud up there. So you can click on the cloud and it will open up into um, a search. So you can tell it to go and, and search for certain things. Um, you can go backwards to the, your iCloud drive and you can tell it to go to downloads. So I'm in my downloads folder right now, okay? Um, so I'm searching in my downloads and I'll go to the coronavirus OTF and I'll click on it and you'll see it slowly show up in this listing. Mine added to the top, right? And you click done. Now, what I have found is that you kind of have to get out of and close Vectornator altogether <clears throat> All right, and then reopen Vectornator, go to a document, and then you can check any document you want. Under style is the font. So I'm going to click on the font option and scroll up alphabetically and look for my coronavirus. There it is. Hey! And now I can use that font and distort it and create with it however I want to in here. Under style, you have also the options. If it offers something other than a regular, it might have an italic or something, um, you can always change the font size, right? You can justify left, middle, right, completely centered, all that good stuff, okay? I'm gonna hop back over to here. And then you can change different things about it, like the spacing between the lettering and all how far apart you want to stretch them or how close you want to keep them. If you have multiple lines of text all in one text box, you can change the line height of the text. <coughs> Pardon me. Remember, you can change the fill color. You can always change its opacity, how much of it we see, how much of we don't, which can be an interesting way of filling a background with extra things about the font without distracting from the main font uh, pieces that you want to show us in the poster. Um, the blur effect, different blending modes, um, and if you want it to have like a drop shadow. So all of those are different things that fall under style, right? Okay, so there you go. Now, if you have any difficulties with that, um, let me take you down to, not YouTube, let me come back over here for a second. Um, this site online, um, let me click on its, its link. I typed in and Googled Vectornator Pro fonts and how to add them. And I got this website. Now, this is just one way of doing it. They will show you if you want to copy this down at all or write it down to have it. 
um, they will give you also a second way of how to drag and drop your files over by having two windows open at the same time. Your files window where your fonts are at and then having Vectornator's font uh, library open at the same time. So that's kind of a cool thing if you want to learn how to do it that way. But I have found that either closing out of Vectornator and then opening back up, the font then appears. I don't know why it needs to do that, but that's what mine was doing currently today. So good luck. Add some fonts.